So for eating meat, there's, I'm not gonna talk about high meat in this instance because I'm only talking about fresh meat. Um, there's, so like your whole fresh meat, you go to the butcher, whatever, you get a slab of meat or some fish or a chicken leg and you eat that, okay? That's good. You can also um, pate your meat. pate your meat is probably the best option um, because it, it allows for better digestion and absorption. It breaks the meat down into a paste. Um, so when it hits your stomach, it's, it's, it's uh, not neutralized, digested much faster. And then when it passes into your small intestine, everything's already really small, so it's absorbed better. And if you do eat this way, you could probably save yourself about uh, an hour of sleep every night. Um, and you'll get more out of your meat. So then the uh, third way, and this isn't like a great way, um, but for some people it's like the only option or like if you're trying on money is ground meat. So the difference between pate and ground meat is because when you pate it, you're putting it in a blender or a food processor and you just basically chop it up really finely. And then, you know, I throw an egg in maybe some tomatoes or something, you can get a little fancy. You can make like a nice paste. Um, but when you're grinding it or when it's ground and like a butcher per se, um, they use a highly pressurized machine. And that machine um, can homogenize the fats and the meat, which turns the meat and fat into fuel instead of like building regeneration that sort of thing so you want to if you have to get it ground or you you know money whatever um if you go to the butcher you can ask them to grind it once because normally they grind their meat twice so i'm talking like you know anything chicken pork beef um uh, yeah, they grind that twice because it, it like compacts better together and you know if you're cooking yeah Yeah, that's great, but you're not cooking so you only need a ground once and if it's only ground once It's more similar to a pate um, But uh, the problem with that is and, uh, <laughs> Maybe it's not a real problem, but what happens is it will turn into high meat It'll start to turn to high meat uh, much faster uh, because everything's cut up and exposed to air so if you do get ground meat if you have to do ground meat you know make sure ask your butcher to grind it once only once and then you should probably eat it three days tops after three days it will get gray it'll start to turn into high meat again not the worst thing um but just a warning um if you're not into that if you're not expecting that if you like the fresh meat better um, so personally, I'm kind of lazy, been lazy recently. <sighs> Excuse me, I was riding my bike. Um, and I, I slept in today, I, I woke up, I went back to bed, got some more sleep. So I don't know, I'm a little, a little tired, but uh, yeah, so like, I've been eating a lot of perch lately. It comes, it doesn't, it comes with skin on. So I find myself having to skin it and pick out some bones. And I normally I don't like skin it and then put it in the processor and pate it and then clean that I'll just put it in a bowl chop it up put it with lemon and then um, Let it sit for about an hour and then I eat that um, That's a little better than just eating the meat just plain because the lemon starts fermentation or like um, breakdown I guess um, but for some other meats, like haddock, I've got some haddock at home. I just have to, it comes with skin. A lot of fish comes with skin, but the perch fillets are lots of little tiny fillets. Look at that dragonfly. Nice blue dragonfly. Um, the fillets are tiny and it's just a lot of work. So I, um, I'm just lazy in that regard, but with the haddock, Oh, look, two of them. With the haddock, I just uh, pull off one big skin. I'll, I'll peel the rest off of the, the meat with the my teeth. 
And then I pate that, um, pretty simple. Um, I'll put in an egg, sour cream. Uh, I might do some tomatoes because I got fresh tomatoes from the garden. Probably some parsley. Parsley or cilantro is good. And then, uh, you know, I'll eat cheese before, cheese with it. I'll put some lemon on it. One thing I might stop doing is lemon because I'm getting cracks in the corners of my mouth. Excuse me. Which I assume is some sort of detox. And, uh, yeah. So I may lay off the lemon. Or maybe just use a little, a little bit. But I do like the lemon and fish. It's good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's about all for, like, difference between whole meat, pate meat, and ground meat. I hope that answers any questions and is informative. If you have further questions, again, leave them in the comment. This is all free. I'm not charging anything because I don't have a financial motivation. Um, like some people, uh, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that. Peace out.